Hello everyone, I'm Booker T's mama and this is my very first video and it will be a video on a Bantu knot out. And as you can see right now my hair is sort of in a sad state so I will be doing a thorough shampooing, I will be conditioning and I will also be doing a henna treatment. So after I get through doing all of that because I don't want to bore you with that, I will come back and we will get this tutorial started. So see you a little bit later. Good morning, everybody. This is my freshly shampooed, conditioned, and henna hair. And my hair is damp because I dried it with a t-shirt. And so now we are going to get started. What I like to use when I do mine is some type of leave-in conditioner. You can use whatever kind you want, but I like the Talia Wajid Protective Mist Body Fire. I will be using Oyen Handmaid's Whipped Pudding, and I will be using their Burnt Sugar Pomade. So, let's get started. Now, I personally don't use a comb when I part my hair, because I like to use my fingers, because it's a whole lot easier for me, but if you need to use a comb, by all means, go ahead and use a comb. But me personally, I like to part my hair with my fingers. So, and I also have some duck bill clips in order to hold the other hair out of the way. And if you'd like to use duck bill clips to part your hair, you can do that too. So, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair into three sections. To get that out of the way. Alright. And when I do this, actually I do this on already dried hair, but for the sake of this video and I have somewhere to go. <laughs> I am doing it on damp hair today. As you can see, my hair is really shrunken because my hair is a kinky, coily texture. So I'm going to spray on some leave-in. Oh, and if you've never seen this before, I get this from Whole Foods. So if there's a Whole Foods in your area, it's only like $7.99. And it's, it's really good and it smells really good. Now, it may be too thick for some people because it, it, it's kind of thick, but you can just take a little bit of water, mix it in there and shake it up and you should be good to go. And I also don't like to use too much product. I don't like to spray it down really good because it'll take forever to dry because they already take forever to dry. Usually when I dry them, I do it overnight and then in the morning they're still kind of damp. But like I said, for the sake of time, because I have somewhere that I need to go today, I will be drying them under the dryer. So now, now I've got my first section parted off. I will be using a little bit of whipped pudding. Put it down the section of hair and along my edges. Don't forget your edges. And a little dab of burnt sugar pomade. Run that down there as well and along my edges. Now some people will actually do a coil instead of how I do mine. I like to two strand twist mine and then coil it around because it's a whole that's a whole lot easier for me than just trying to do a finger coil and then wrapping it around so it's easier for me to just two strand twist it So 
So I, I don't know about you, but I like to make my hair as simple as possible because I have a four-year-old and usually he likes to barge in on me when I'm trying to do my hair. So that's why I like to do it as quick as possible. So, okay. Now you have your two strand twist. Now you take your two strand twist and just start to wrap it around itself. Kind of tucking it under as you go until you get all the way to the end. And there you go. You have your Bantu knot. Now, you might find another way to do it that's a whole lot easier for you to do it. So, by all means, this is not the end all to be all way to do it. So, this is just the way I like to do it. So, I'll do a couple more for you. Take a little dab of whatever moisturizer you want to use. I personally love Oyen Handmaid's Whip Pudding. Shout out to Oyen. <laughs> I love that stuff. Like I would walk through fire to get some some Oyen Handmade. And we twist. Now, I like to twist, I like to try and pull it tight as I twist because I want them to stay secure so they won't come loose or whatever, but wow. see, there he is. I'm doing something, I'll be out in a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. I'll be out in a minute. And we're going to wrap it around. So see, it's fairly simple. So I'm going to finish my whole head and I will come back and let you see what it looks like when it's done. Hello everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, I am finished. I have approximately 20 Bantu knots in my hair. See? So now I am going to sit under the dryer and I'm going to let them dry and then I will show you the takedown process and then I will fluff them and that will be it. So, see you in a little bit. Hello everyone, I'm back and I am almost through with the takedown process. I left these three in the front just for you to show you how I take them down. It's, it's uh, really simple. I just take it, take the very top part and just kind of twist it back the other way and pull it. And it's, it's free. And I do the next one and pull it. And finally the last one. See? And then after that, you just take it down like a regular two strand twist. However, you take your two strand twist down, the same rules would apply. So, excuse me if you hear a little bit of music going on in the background. That's the radio in my bedroom. And. Here's my last one. All right. And now I start to fluff. And I just take my fingers and just fluff until I get it the way I like it, which usually ends up turning into a curly fro. So I'm gonna and I mean, if you do it and it doesn't come out the way you want to, that's what hair accessories are for. You can always just slap it in a 
and a good old puff and go on. Oh, I forgot to take that one down. Yeah. And it's still a little bit damp, but I expect it to be because it always is. I even attempted to sit under the hot, hot dryer a little bit longer than usual. And some of them are still damp, but that's okay. Because it's finally beautiful outside. So once I step outside and stay out there for a while, they'll finish drying. And then say if you have a looser hair texture and you want your hair to stand up, you would just flip your hair over upside down and fluff it with your fingers. Kind of turn it that way and fluff it. And I didn't put anything else on it. There's a hair. And I didn't put anything else on it to uh, take the twist down, but if you like to use a little coconut oil or whatever kind of oil or butter you like to use to take your two strand twist down, you, you can do that. Now, me personally, I love big hair. And usually it's a little bit bigger than this, but since I did it on damp hair instead of completely dry hair, it's going to be a little shrunken. So, this is my result from the Bantu Knot app. And like I said, if it doesn't come out the way you want it, wanted it to come out, you can always slap it in a puff and go on. The puff is your friend. <laughs> so, And that's basically it. So I hope you have enjoyed my video. Like I said, this is my first one. So if it didn't come out the way you wanted to, charge it to my head, not my heart. So thank you for watching and happy styling. See you.